Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Parts of Articulation. My name's Dave, and if you're new to the channel, welcome. Today, I'm looking at the Hot Wheels Star Wars Battle Rollers Ray with Millennium Falcon. Now, Ray in this interpretation of the Millennium Falcon was first seen in Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. This ship we see before us was a gift from my good friend Melanie. She recently moved away to another state, so this video's for you, Mel. Battle Rollers, what are they? Well, they're Hot Wheels die-cast starships based on vehicles from the Star Wars universe with very cartoonish features. They also feature a character in the pilot seat as well, or, well, in the Falcon's case, in the gunner seat since the cockpit's over here. But that's not all, because they're good for rolling, racing, crashing, smashing, and also drifting like Vin Diesel. <laughs> so anyway, for the size of this ship, we're looking at a tad over one inch long. So everybody should know how my videos go by now. We're going to take a quick look at the mold, the paint, compare it to some other pieces, and then we'll be done. So let's get moving. All right, all joking aside, let's get this video started looking at the mold. Pretty nice. I do like the cartoonish features here. I'm not going to lie. Pretty nice. So for the main parts, we have our mandibles, our sensor dish, our docking rings. On both sides looking pretty good our cockpit now the paint seems like it's a little off but that's just because it's cartoonish see because you got that uh molded detail there so the window can't really go that far pretty nice in the back we have our engines pretty cool here we have our heat exhaust vents looking to fly and on the bottom we don't really have any detailing down here for the most part but we have two screws holding it together, four little nibs to raise the ship up, a ball bearing in there, copyright crap, and that's basically it. This is how it rolls, by the way, with this ball, if you didn't already figure that out. But for detail-wise, we have some nice line work and little recesses here and there, going around, pretty nice. For the front of the ship, pretty nice detailing on here. On the side, coming around, looking good. I like the detailing on the engine. That looks awesome. And the other side, little modules, pretty cool stuff. And back to the front, on the top of the vessel, look at all this nice paneling, some line work. I think that came out great. I think my favorite part is the aft section. Pretty cool. You can see in the interiors here of the vents, they are molded, so that's pretty awesome. And we have our cockpit, looking good, some nice molding on there. Nice. Now for Ray, she does have some detailing in her hair, so that's cool. Her outfit is nicely done, you know, for what it is. And the face, uh, I don't know if it has a likeness of Daisy Ridley. But it's a nice attempt for something so small. So that does it for the molds. Now let's take a look at the paint. All right, looking at that paint of Ray with the Millennium Falcon. On this bad boy, we have about 10 different colors, believe it or not. First color up is a nice, I would say, a off tan or an off gray color for the main ship. Nice color choice, though. Very cool. I think they came out great. All the pieces are painted like that, even the dish. Nice. Next color we have is blue for the engine. Very cool, I love that electric blue color. Then we have, I would say a maroon on different panels throughout the ship. Looking good. And it has a little gloss to it as well. Speaking of gloss, we have glossy black for the interiors of the heat exhaust vents, as well as the cockpit windows. You can see how that reflects light. Moving on to Ray herself. She has a nice skin tone, dark brown and light tan for her costume, so that's nice. Then we have dark brown for her hair, and for her eyes and eyebrows, that seems to be a black to me, and that's nicely done, no smearing or anything. And I don't know if you guys can make it out, but she does have a pink on her lips. All in all, some pretty nice work on here. 
So that does it for the mold as well as the paint. So now let's compare this to some other pieces and then we'll conclude the video. And now for a quick size comparison with the Hot Wheels Star Wars Battle Rollers Ray with a Millennium Falcon seen in the center. First on the right hand side we have the Hot Wheels Sand Crawler. And then on the left hand side we have the Hot Wheels Ray Speeder. And for an added bonus size comparison with the Battle Rollers Ray, I have it next to the bootleg Michael Jackson action figure. <laughs> and that does it today for my review of the Hot Wheels Star Wars Battle Rollers Ray with Millennium Falcon. First up for the mold, it is mostly die cast, that's a huge plus. Plus the cartoonish proportions gives the ship a very unique look and I like it for that. For the paint, not bad at all. Ten colors working together and I think they did a decent job. Now, I don't know if this collection is my particular cup of tea, but I sort of like some of the design elements that are going on here. So, I put this all to you, my subscribers and viewers. Should I review more of this collection? Let me know in the comments below. So, that's everything I have to say about this unique ship today. If you enjoyed the review, hit that like button. And if you'd like to see new reviews every Thursday, subscribe. Again, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it, and I hope to see you next time. Bye, everybody.